In this video, we are going to be going through two different methods of sorting. Sorting is important in programming for the same reason it is in real life. It's much easier to locate items on a sorted list as opposed to an unsorted list. Sorting algorithms can be used in a program to sort for later searching or writing out to an ordered file or report. There are many sorting methods out there, of course, but we're going to be focusing on the bubble and selection sorting method today. Due to their simplicity, Starting off by learning these two sorting methods is great for introductory computer science students that have just ventured into the world of sorting. During a bubble sort, the CPU bubbles the smallest values to the beginning of the array through swapping. For each pass made by the CPU, elements are swapped so that the smaller value appears first. By the end of the sort, the elements in the array are sorted into ascending order. Here are the numbers unsorted in the array. Above the numbers are the indices for each element. Firstly, the CPU will check the first two indices in the array. It checks to see if 7 is greater than 11. In this case, 7 is not greater than 11, so the CPU, or bubble in this case, moves on to the next two indices. Now, the CPU checks if 11 is greater than 3, so 11 and 3 switch places. It then moves again to the next two indices. The CPU now checks 11 and 22. Pause the video and guess what happens. If you said 11 is not greater than 22, so the bubble moves on again, then you were right. This time, 22 is being compared to 12. Take one moment to pause the video and guess what happens. In this case, 22 is greater than 12. So if you said 22 and 12 swap places, then you were correct. Now the CPU compares 22 and 17. 22 is greater than 17, so they swap places. The CPU, or bubble, has now gone through all the indices in the array. But there's a problem. The list still isn't sorted in ascending order. That's because the CPU hasn't finished its work yet. The CPU keeps going through the list for as many times needed to fully sort it out. The bubble reforms around the first two numbers and compares them once again. With your current knowledge, now you should know that the two numbers 7 and 3 will swap, because 7 is greater than 3. The CPU continues to run through the rest of the list, comparing the next two numbers of the list each time. You're probably looking at the list right now and seeing that it's already in order. The CPU also sees this when it goes through the array one last time and sees that no swaps are to be made. This tells the CPU that the array is sorted in ascending order.